Hey everybody, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and country wood products. The observant of you will notice two things. One, the mill is moved. And two, a leg is warped. I'll fix that. I got this in here. Not quite where it's going to be, but close. I still have to slide it over, but it was exhausting work. And you can see a mess underneath. I've cleaned out a bunch of sawdust in the rails. What I ended up doing is reinforcing the legs and uh, maneuvered it with a tractor and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked. It took uh, five hours because the uh, everything wanted to stick to the floor and uh, I got it. So I have been working a little bit today. It's going slow and I haven't done any video because the guys are on the roof putting in a new roof and it's been really loud so you wouldn't have heard me talk. I have here one of my control boxes, which I showed in the previous video. I have taped up the any connections that might short out on the metal here. I dropped the control box arm. You may remember it was up in the air, pointing up. I don't know what good it was doing there, but um, I brought it down, and I'm going to have my new control panel on here, right next to my valves. I did drain that had diesel in it which had turned to gel that took half the day and that is finally drained and I have accomplished something. Let me turn this on. I have a battery sitting here. Nothing is really professional yet okay so don't freak out about that but I do have this sitting here hanging because I'm just um, getting it going for now. I'll turn this halfway up. I've got I guess it's 40, 50 percent. And now I have up and down. And there's down. Oh, I gotta raise that speed for going up. There we go. So I have up and down. Down is really fast, of course, because the, the weight. But now we have up and down. Okay? So there's that. And that's your on off switch for now, and your speed selector. Click. Now I'm gonna have a master on off on here. And uh, the, the speed, sele speed selectors will be in a, somewhere in a control box. So I'm about to hook up the other one and I'm just gonna get it going to see if I can get the motor drive to work. And then another time I'll show you in close detail how I do these when I, when I uh, clean it up and do it right for anybody interested. So I've got wires, it says it's 12 gauge. I'm not really confident that that's real. I've got some uh, wire I bought. I'm not really confident that's 12 gauge, but what I've done is connected it to the drive motor that runs the mill up and forward and backward. I've temporarily taped it on here. Uh, here. I'm going to be running it through later. Maybe even put a conduit in there. But I've got it taped on over here for now. And just for testing purposes, I've got it run down and I'm gonna hook up this box. And basically you got your motor plus and minus right here. And I'm just gonna hook that up, I'll be right back. I can't do it while I'm holding the, the phone. I've got them, the motor wires plus and minus hooked up. And then I cut two more pieces, it's just hanging. It's safer to connect the wires to the device before connecting to the battery. I've got red is plus, black is minus, red is plus, black is minus. And now I'm going to run this on up to the battery. Uh, strip the ends and connect it up there. And then we should have forward and backward drive control. So I have two very professional setups here. Taped on, hanging, <laughs> dangling wires. I did tape the ends though to protect from shorts. And I've got the plus and minus to both motor speed controllers hooked up with this questionable 12 gauge wire. I think I'll probably get better wire later. I just don't trust that. Anyway, now I can turn on the 
drive motor, and let's set that to, there's 20%, 30%, and let us see which way this goes. And it slowly is driving. Look at that. It drives. Eh? I can flip the switch forward, and the mill is driving. Look at that. Well, there's. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That is amazing. Of course, I won't be feeding it that slowly in commercial operation. Oh, I'll turn up that power a little bit, I think. Yeah, that makes a difference. Whoa, I got to work in that chain too. That chain needs some lube. A little bit rough. And I'm going to put an auto stop of some kind on here because I don't like, I don't want to have that motor hit, run, and burn up. If I'm ever looking away and not paying attention, I need an auto stop on that. So, I have both of these are on, both turned about, well, when the up down is 25%, the drive controller is 50%. I have added um, a extension wire running up through here, and I've made my own remote control, which is not pretty yet, but it functions. I'll show you that in a minute. So, if I'm gonna to try to do this one hand, I don't have a tripod with me or my proper camera. But what we have here, we have, uh, there's the motor drive. We have up, down. I, don't, I couldn't get forward and backward, so I have up, down. So I will be pushing that up. Oops, that's up, down, sorry. That was the, there is. Ah, that was the first one I did, of course. Well, we have it here anyway, it works. Up is up, down is down. So, up. I can't see through my camera, it's moving. It's very slow, I have to turn it up, speed it up some, but there's down. All right, and then we have here, and I definitely need a control box, this is just improvised. Here I have forward and backwards. All right, and with the extended wire, which I'll have to string up somewhere so it doesn't get snagged anywhere, I can run this all the way down to the back, standing still, sitting in a chair, right next to my valves, and I can bring it back if I want. I like it. This is gonna make melon easier. This is gonna make melon really good. I hope you can hear me. The guys are on the rough. That's why I didn't bring my camera. Anyway, there it is so far. I am feeling, feeling pretty good about that. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today so far. I started a control box. I have to figure out where I want it first. And before I do that, I've gotta fix this leg and get a deck around this so I know what height I'm going to be standing or sitting at, so I know where I'm going to put that. So for now, that's going to sit there. And I've got to make a box for these, and I haven't decided yet. Um, because I want airflow, so I'm still trying to figure out, maybe possibly part of the reason the others died for the original is because there was no airflow. Maybe. I don't know, and uh, I don't want to risk it. So I'd really prefer to maybe have some fans and maybe a filter on it, and that'll probably help tremendously. And then a master on-off switch, which will turn on and off power to the box. But check this out. So if I can get this all in view, I really need a tripod and a camera. Here it's up. That's your motor up, motor down. I do have it set really slow right now, but then again, if you watch that gauge over here, you know, it's a, uh, I don't think I want it much faster than that for adjusting my cut. That's going to be pretty hairy until I get used to it. And then I've got my drive going forward and backward. 
It's that switch I don't like. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, switch that switch out. That's funny sounding. It is momentary. I may like that. I don't know because with uh, a full on off switch, I might forget if I flip the switch on and walk away. I might forget and leave it driving. Could possibly burn up the motor. Could burn up the motor or the controller. I don't know if you can hear me over the sounds they're making. Let me bring that back. But this is turning into a fully push button operation, this mill. That's what it was. That's what's going to be again. Bring it back home. There you go. That is, I sure hope it cuts as fast as it drives because that's going to be amazing. I still have to get a pulley, puller, pulley puller. I'll show you what I got to do. I have to get this off that electric motor so I can get my new engine on here and I don't have one here. Somebody's going to bring me one tomorrow, hopefully, and I'll be able to pop that off. Then I'll be able to take the motor off and I'll be able to get the Predator engine on here. Um, my clutch is in the mail. I did put the um, uh, a blade on today just to see about tracking and adjusting the um, where the blade rides forward and backwards. I did get two working roller blade guides on here with uh, ball bearing rollers and they both work. So I got them going today. I forgot to mention that earlier. I am getting it. I am getting it. So I can for now manually, that's filthy. I can manually spin it and everything works by hand. I won't do much cutting like that though, but it's getting there. I also heavily lubed this chain today, so it's it's getting better and better with every time I run it. Well, guys, that's probably it for today. It's getting a little bit later. I have to check the time, but um, I'll probably give that some thought here. I really want to get that in something. I do have a plastic... Um, outdoor outlet box that is dust proof and everything proof i have one that actually has fan slots cut out i'm going to have to look it up and see that might be the best thing for mounting right here i don't like how these don't have a way to mount them i'm going to want to be able to see them because i think it's a really good uh, bonus to have and also the dials the problem is they don't give you much room in here so I don't know, it's awkward because everything has different dimensions and trying to mount all this up neatly is going to be a bit of a job. These connections are soldered and twisted. So just so you know, I soldered everything first and then I put the twist caps on. So it'll be easier if I do need to change something later. But they are soldered. And on here... I uh, I did the same with these, but these are crimped on. Um, there, it's two different switches. The one I actually had, they had the the wires were soldered onto the switches, and these were slide ons. So actually, I don't like how these were soldered on in place or uh, out of the box. It limits you to what you can do. I don't like this switch because it's got a little bit of metal catching inside, but I like how it was connecting. Ah, eh, whatever. But it works. Well, guys, please do hit that uh, like button, subscribe if you haven't, and hit the bell icon for notifications when I upload further videos because more are on the way. This beast will live again. Talk to y'all later.